Hello everyone, Marco is here, the author of Terrain Mixer. So we have some good news for you. And this is the information about uh, our new tool <clears throat> called Simple Object Scatter. Now I should mention right away that this is not a replacement for the much better uh, scattering tools. Uh, for example, Scatter, which is my favorite and you will find the link below. Uh, so this tool just gives you some you know basic functions and some of you might find it uh, you know uh, useful enough uh, to actually uh, use it for your workflow uh, because some of you just don't need uh, all the extra features but if you have like really uh, specific uh, uh, requirements uh, for your workflow or particular project I definitely recommend that you grab a, a copy of Scatter. Now let's move with the uh, simple scatter, uh, simple object scatter. Uh, here you will see uh, inside its interface that you have the menu very similar to the menu of the terrain mixer and this controls density, uh, displacement of the terrain, uh, rotation, uh, random rotation of the objects uh, that are spread uh, across the terrain uh, and the scale of uh, the, the instances and, as well as the, their, uh, the way they are spread. So. I think I'm repeating myself, not sure, uh, never mind. So let's start with the density. Uh, we'll focus on this uh, cone object, uh, which is placed inside uh, this collection uh, large one. So this is why it's named L1. So for example, if I uh, crank it all the way uh, to 75, you will see how this uh, changes. Um, so let's go back to 10. You also have the rotation. Uh, so it's a random rotation so for example you have something like rocks or uh, you know uh, some planks or whatever uh, you will find this uh, really useful I wouldn't use it for trees but you know uh, maybe some meteorite uh, hit the, the, the terrain so it might be useful in that situation as well uh, then you have scale and uh, this is just uh, scaling uh, the the uh, particular object uh, that you have uh, placed inside this uh, collection or you also have the scale option for other two collections and then here uh, you can uh, spread uh, your cones in this uh, uh, example or trees or whatever uh, across the terrain so it's dependent on terrain height so for example if I uh, move it all the way to 500 you will only have this uh, cones in the valley and if you move it all the way to, all, all the way down to zero you will have it across uh, the whole terrain so it's like that now uh, if we see if we check this object here this sphere uh, you will notice that it has different uh, uh, smaller objects scattered around it and those are uh, cylinders that are placed in this large 2 collection. Uh, you can replace them with your own objects and we also have uh, controls for uh, uh, those uh, objects. Uh, they are named L2 uh, so you'll have like that uh, density here. So for example you can do this. Uh, also, you have two uh, types of spread for uh, that object and that's uh, just a regular spread. So for example, five, oh, five, you see what happens, almost all terrain is affected. Or if you go all the way to 50, I think, not sure, uh, let's go here and type 50, yeah. And it's uh, closer to this object here. Let's uh, move it back to the default value. And the same goes uh, for uh, the small objects, uh, the small cubes here. They don't have the spread function, but they have density uh, function here named S1. Uh, the object is in this uh, small one collection. Now, let me just enable the rendered uh, shading in the viewport here so I can show you what does the sphere uh, help you with so if you select this sphere you can also select it from here if you select the sphere 
and let's view it from here. So if you move it here, you will see that those uh, surrounding objects move it with it. You can disable them uh, in the node tree. So if you would go here, you can disable this uh, S1 connection here. So you'll see they're gone now. We'll wait for a second. Oh, actually, they're not gone. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Uh, those were the small cubes that we had here. They are marked with S1. I apologize. So let's go back to the geometry node editor and connect this and just cut this. And now if we go back to the 3D viewport, you'll see that the cylinders are gone. And but this also helps us uh, uh, to see better what does the sphere uh, or any other object that you might be using, uh, 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 you know, uh, for this purpose. It doesn't have to be sphere. Uh, it actually helps us clean the area, you know, where you don't want these instances to appear. You can just clean it with the object. So, for example, if you want to lay down the road, you can do that as well. Uh, it's very simple. All you have to do is just go to this uh, geometry node setup uh, that we have seen, uh, that we have already edited uh, previously. So you go here and somewhere around here, you see sphere and here as well, sphere. So you just, this, you just replace this with some other object and uh, it will do, uh, it will work uh, the same way. So also, if you would hide this uh, terrain object and, for example, plug this T connection here, we can connect all two again. And now when you go to your 3D viewport, you will see that the terrain beneath is replaced. It's now this simple gray uh, terrain. And uh, this is what I like doing because it's much faster. It doesn't have any complex shading applied to it. So, you know, when you want to test your uh, scatter, uh, I suggest you use this uh, gray terrain. So, yeah, and that's about it. I think uh, I'll do more videos about uh, scattering, but for now, uh, this should be enough. Now, what I should mention that this tool is a part of uh, something that is at the moment called Terrain Mixer Toolkit. It's not the same package as Terrain Mixer, it's a separate package. But for those who uh, have already purchased Terrain Mixer, you know, will uh, at least uh, allow you to use this current version uh, free of charge. So, yeah. Uh, talk soon and if you have any question please uh, write them below and if you don't you know just enjoy using train mixer and simple object scatter cheers